Today is such a beautiful day. The sun is shining, it's a blue sky. I've come outside, um, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time on the swing in front of the manor here. And uh, this week has been really exciting. Like, some weeks it seems like we do a lot of work and you don't really see any or too much of a transformation. And you remember last week we um, put up the balcony that you can see behind me. Um, and this week it's now, uh, the painting is all finished. We've also been working on our area around our front door and on our music room, which is seeing a big transformation. And I've also got some really exciting news today about our Christmas market tickets. So stay with me until the end of the video and I'll share what that is. So the balcony is now all painted and is looking just fantastic. It's completely transformed this end of the manor and we're still going to be cladding the posts and adding some finishing um, touches. Uh, but it's really made such a difference and uh, it really reflects the original balcony that was on this end of the building back in the 1840s. Windows still need a little bit of work. You'll see that uh, the glass needs to be uh, re-putted in the windows. Um, so that's another job. We'll take the sashes out and get that all fixed up. But the frames are looking so much better now. They have had all the old paint scraped off and the new paint put on. One of the other areas that really needed some TLC was the porch by our front door. So we sanded down the wood ready for stain and we got the spindles ready for a fresh coat of paint. We also painted the ceiling with a second coat ready for the lights. So Stephen has just uh, finished painting the ceiling here above the porch to the front door and uh, we're just putting up the lights that will uh, go out here and these have actually been in our dining room for over the last year since uh, the last Christmas market when uh, we put them in there just for decor and finally we're actually getting to put them up by the front door where they're meant to be. We decided to paint the wood on the front of the porch in the same color as the side of the manor, just to help it blend in. It's amazing how much of a difference a coat of paint makes. And uh, these spindles, now they've got their new coat of paint, are looking really sharp against the uh, color on the side of the manor. We still have some of our really pretty summer flowers here. Um, and uh, we're gonna be adding some more detail and finishing touches to this space by the front door, but it's already looking really, really nice. We also picked up these fantastic fall flowers and uh, they're actually a mix. They have red and yellow in the same pot. You can see they're in kind of four quadrants. And uh, we've got two of them that we're gonna have out the front here of the manor. You can see we've just started painting uh, this uh, old bistro set. Uh, we've, we're gonna be taking it from the white, which is looking very old and tired, and, and putting a nice kind of dark color, which again will contrast with our walls on the manor. Um, but these, uh, beautiful full colors um, and we've added some by the posts as well just to give a nice splash of uh, red and yellow and the beautiful full colors at the front of the manor. So this week my mum and dad, say hi mum. Hi. My mum and dad arrived from the UK and um, I've got my mum working here and she is matching teacups and tea sauces. I have so many teacups and they are all over the place. And I've given my mum the job of matching the teacups to the tea sauces so we can pack them away, clean them and pack them away so they're ready for use. I'm pretty excited today because I am finally getting to put the primer on our music room. And this room, we haven't actually done any, um, other than putting our wood burning stove in, we haven't done any work since we moved in. And um, it actually has this really nice dark red paint on the walls, but it isn't what we're gonna be using for the decor in here. So my first job 
is to get this all covered with a color blocking primer so that I can paint my new colors over the top. So today I have moved all the furniture into the middle of the room and uh, I'm gonna get the primer done so that can dry and then I can start getting some colors and then my wallpaper. I'm just getting the paint ready to uh, start painting our music room. And uh, I've chosen three colors um, that kind of really work well together and I'm really, really excited about them. Uh, the first color I've chosen is actually called Sulking Room Pink. And uh, this is actually gonna be used on the top part of the wall and it's gonna give that really lovely, rich, deep, um, kind of a pink hue but not too pink pink. Um, so that's gonna go on the top of the uh, walls. I've then chosen this one that's called Kitten Whiskers and this one is actually gonna be on the ceiling and it's gonna give a contrast to the trim so that the, the ceiling rose and the chandelier really pops out. Um, so this is uh, Kitten Whiskers. And the final one I've chosen is actually called Strong White and um, it's just a really nice, got a slight greyish tone to the white. So you can see how um, these two that we're going to do the trim, the ceiling and then the uh, sulking room pink and it's just a really really nice blend of colours so I'm just so excited. So today I'm starting, I've done primer so I'm now going to start painting the ceiling and I'm going to start painting the uh, white on for the panelling. So I've started uh, painting the lower part of uh, the walls in the music room and this is the part that we're going to actually create panelling in or on. Um, so I'm doing it in an off-white um, and it's got a slightly grey tone to it, it's actually a beautiful white and uh, what we've done is we've marked this line at this point here. So this part of the wall is going to be painted in the off-white, same as the trim, and it's going to have panelling pieces put on. So it's going to look like old panelling. And then above this line is going to be my sulking room pink. So my first job right now is to get this bottom uh, piece painted in the off-white first coat. Uh, and then, once I've done that, I can move on to getting the top half painted. It's now time for the bit that I've most been looking forward to, adding my sulking room pink to my walls. So the first coat of my sulking room pink and white is now done on most of the room. I'm just finishing the, the last little bit off uh, and then um, I will be adding, doing the second coat, I will be adding the paneling and then I'm going to start working on the ceiling. So tune in next week to see how it looks um, and how the ceiling is now is going to look with the uh, third colour that I'm going to add. So my mum and dad are out in the garden trying out our rope swing and uh, you can see the balcony behind that is now all painted and it's looking really quite pretty. How's the swing mum? It's beautiful, I'm enjoying it. I haven't been on a swing like this before, not for years. Here, yes, excellent. On a sunny day, it's brilliant. So I know a lot of you are waiting and so the big news this week is we've confirmed the date that we will be releasing the tickets for our Christmas market. Now, so you remember our Christmas market is on November the 20th and the 21st of November and uh, we've got an amazing lineup of vendors, there's going to be all sorts of Christmas fun at the manor, we are going to be decorating the whole manor uh, just like the book 
was the nice before Christmas. Uh, so if you remember reading that as a kid, we're going to try and, or uh, well, we're going to create that in the manor. So when you come, you kind of step back in time and step, step into the book. So we're really, really excited. So we will be releasing the tickets on October the 1st, which is next, next Friday, right? Not this tomorrow, uh, next Friday. Uh, so they will be released on our website for you to reserve your ticket. Um, we will be doing tickets so that we can um, uh, spread out the number of people in the manor, ensure everyone is safe with social distancing and, and all the regulations that we need for COVID. Um, but like I say, October the 1st is the date when our tickets will be available for you to get or to purchase uh, online. And uh, we are so, so excited about seeing you here. The summer market was such an amazing success that we are really, and there's something about Christmas markets the summer market was absolutely fabulous far exceeded our expectations but there's something magical about Christmas and so we are working really hard to make this Christmas market something really really special so we can't wait to see you there so make sure you hop onto our website uh, on the 1st of October and get your tickets um, but I'm gonna get back to work I can't stay outside here in the Sun for too much longer I've got too much to do so I'm gonna get back to work and I will see you on our next episode of the Ladies with Fan Diaries <laughs>